What's up everybody, Steve here with Steve Invest. I'm going to show you what the next frivolous lawsuits that are coming out, hitting the market. If you're a real estate agent, you wanna pay attention, but at the end of the day, this is gonna be relative to really anybody who owns any kind of website to make sure that it's ADA compliant. Essentially, we're getting demand letters, um, a lot of them in Southwest Florida here, getting these demand letters saying that these websites that we have are not compliant. So I'm going to dive into the actual demand letter as well as the actual legal case and show you what these companies are doing. But basically, they're, um, they're really just trying to bully people around and trying to get money out of people who are not willing to go ahead and retain an attorney to find out their rights. Um, it's kind of a scare tactic associated with what they're doing, unfortunately. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, I really don't think at the end of the day it has too much to do with ADA. Obviously, we want to be ADA compliant. We want to make sure that people with disabilities can utilize our websites and our real estate websites and everything else. Um, I'm also going to show you access to a link where you can plug in your own website, go through it and look for any kind of defects that may cause flags for a company like this to come after you. So if anything, I hope that uh, you guys are preventative and, and utilize that site. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into the demand letter right here. But basically it says this letter along with relevant enclosures constitutes our formal demand for violation of the Federal Fair Housing Act. <clears throat> basically what they're doing is they're trying to bully everybody with this demand letter as well as the court doc and I'll show you something interesting about the court doc as well. But basically they're reaching out and they're hoping that real estate agents, real estate brokers and really again it could be anybody who has a website that can encounter this and they're hoping that these people reach out and they negotiate with some kind of settlement and uh, speaking with other people in the business I've heard of other people really coming to uh, certain settlements of anywhere from $5,000 to $15,000. Don't, so don't be fooled. Make sure that you guys do retain an attorney if you guys do get something like this. Uh, pass it by your real estate broker as well. But uh, don't fall victim for these tactics, these, these ploys, because you guys do have a strong case in terms of uh, defending yourself, especially if you go in and you do fix any issues to make it more compliant you guys should have no problem. So in here you can see that um, when attempting to access the respondent's real estate listings using American Foundation for the Blind, approved reading software, our client encounters se several access barriers which deny full and equal access to information and services related to real estate services offered and made available to the public. And then it's gonna go into the substantial areas, the home page, the home page, uh, more on the home page, different areas. Now, what we wanted to do is we wanted to ensure that we went in as quickly as possible and fix these errors as quickly as possible because if the, if the errors are fixed, then the, these people really don't have any case because you guys were becoming, being compliant and ensuring that you guys did fix your website to make it more ADA compliant. Um, as we scroll down here, here's some of the Florida statutes that they're trying to use and intimidate you guys. Um, as you know, as you may know, Congress intended FHA regulations to be enforced by private rights of action in addition to any administrative enforcement by a government body. To that end, our client chose to advocate for enforcement of its members' rights through hiring of this firm. And as we scroll down, res respondent should elect to resolve this matter without litigation. Respondent will receive conditional release, conditional release, and so forth. So conditional doesn't mean a full-on release. Again, they're really just trying to uh, suck the money out of people who are unsuspecting. Uh, whether respondent achieves compliance through pre-suit resolution and remediation or protra protracted litigation rests solely with response to discretion to that end in this unfortunate circumstance that the respondent fails to this demand letter by J June 1st, 2020, we reserve the right to seek judicial enforcement through the attached private cause of action 
in addition to any administrative remedies that may be available through Department of Justice and Secretary of Housing and Urban Development without further notice. Now, I'm going to show you the actual complaint that they have. And here it is, United States District Court, Middle District of Florida. It's Inc. Verse, and they don't even have a case number here either. So basically, they have not even filed this court doc. Again, uh, it's, in, it's in our estimation that this company and other frivolous attorneys out there are using this just as a ploy because if they did have to file this, it, they would incur certain costs and so forth. So they're making this thing look as scary as possible. So you basically call them up and say, how much money do you want me to pay you? <clears throat> now with that said, I'll put a link for this website below so you guys can uh, input it and input your site as well. Uh, but basically it's, a, um, it's an evaluation tool of um, the clarity of your site and it'll show and pop up any errors uh, associated with your website in terms of you know if, if the contrast is too hard for somebody to see and so forth so what we're gonna do in this example is I'm gonna actually use Zillow <clears throat> and as you can see Zillow is a huge site for searching real estate <clears throat> and we can see right here the different errors contract contrast errors, <clears throat> alerts, features, structural elements. Uh, so basically, as you come over here, you can see exactly some of the stuff that are causing errors on Zillow's home page. So I'm not sure if they're going after a big entity like Zillow. I highly doubt it because they're very powerful and have plenty of attorneys to, to um, fight this kind of stuff. But again, um, you're going to want to go ahead and just be proactive with your website. Go to this, this site here. I will put a link for you guys to, to check it out. Put your website in and you can start working on certain errors or have your web developer work on these errors with you. Um, if you're proactive and you limit the amount of errors on your site, they probably won't mess with you. But if you have a certain amount of them, then you guys might receive some sort of demand letter that... Uh, that you saw. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. If you got any value out of that, I appreciate a big thumbs up. Be prepared, protect yourself, utilize that site, check it out, work with your web developer and, and trying to fix any errors that you guys have on your site because the last thing you want to do is have to spend time dealing with uh, some of these frivolous lawsuits and I think many of them are frivolous. And um, anyway, I appreciate you guys watching this and uh, appreciate the support. Thanks a lot.